Um, a whole bunch of Bethesda stuff happened because that deal closed. Like that yeah. kind of stuff doesn't really make news, but but the 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 Bethesda acquisition by Microsoft has like been pending American and European approval all this time since they announced it. Like it wasn't actually official until what was it yesterday or today? Today, I today think. the yeah, today the close morning is when they made all the announcements. I, th- I think it cleared the UK. That might have been yesterday, right? Or you clear the so, EU? I forget what it was. Yes, yeah. the yes. Queen that's, said it was okay. She was that's right. <laughs> like, <laughs> just Jordan. take any focus off of this other stuff. Yes, we're letting yes. this merger happen. Please talk about it. Yes. Um, <laughs> so Phil Spencer put up a short blog post on the Xbox Wire. I guess is what they still call that thing. Officially yep. welcoming Bethesda to Team Xbox. Uh, it's mostly you know the pretty kind of high-minded language you would expect about like ah oh, the best place to play and like we're, you know but there's like two there's two kind of data points or you know pieces of actual information in here i'll just read both of them uh with the addition of the bethesda creative teams gamers should know that xbox consoles pc and game pass will be the best place to experience new bethesda games including some new titles in the future that will be exclusive to xbox and pc players so Anyone's guess what some new titles means? Starfield, I bet. I, so. I would assume it would be damn near most of them. Right. Mm. Uh, Elder yes. Scrolls is the one where you're like, do they do that? Because that's right. Yeah. That's that's the touchy one. That's, Whereas like a new IP, yeah, not so Yeah, bad. sure. Yes, yes. Way guess, more likely I, that for Starfield than the next than Elder Scrolls Six for sure. But like once Starfield has been exclusive and then it's years later before Elder Scrolls comes out, like why not just yeah. you know, people are used to it at that point, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I guess like yeah. I, I was I was about to say like, hey, those games always ran like shit on PlayStation anyway, but I guess that's the PlayStation three, like Skyrim was was fine on a PS4. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. So, yes, it was. So I guess that's because it, it, it's it's easy to think like, oh well those were those were always Xbox thought of as Xbox games before PlayStation games anyway, but maybe that's just lingering ps3 there's, there's stuff. definitely well, and there's definitely more of a connection right like morrow oh yeah so yeah, yeah morrow yeah. yeah. came out on the yeah. original xbox did oblivion never came to ps3 did it wasn't that 360 uh, only uh, yeah i think i think you're right I, I don't think there was a yeah so you know like the xbox has always been like ah, it's like kind of a pc but a console like that's yeah kind right kind of been bethesda's bread and butter all along so but man dude that is yes like that is a shot across the bow against sony if they go that route it's, they're not messing around, but then again, seven and a half billion dollars. You cannot afford to mess around. It's wild. This, yeah. this, who's the biggest independent developer now? Because they were like privately owned, mm. not traded on right. the stock exchange. Like oh, you, you mean you mean not, like not even publicly traded? Like I don't. Even yeah, know. They, yeah, they, Epic, yeah. Right? I, I mean, I, I, I guess so. Nice. Probably, yeah. But then I guess yeah. it has to be. Yeah, I started to say CD Project, but they are public, aren't they? They are. Yeah, they're public. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be epic, I guess, at this point. Um, but then hard to hard to call them an independent. It was a stretch to call Bethesda. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a weird semantic. <laughs> Technically, not a public company, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, how the much, other little tip, uh, How right. much of the company does Tencent own? That's the the line, right? Yeah. I think it's a. I, it's this up recently. I think it's pretty. I think it's a pretty small amount. I forget. Yeah, it's not that big. Yeah. Um, the other little tidbit uh, from this blog post is that he ends it by saying, "To properly celebrate this special moment, we are bringing additional Bethesda games into Xbox Game Pass later this week." Ooh, so, wet. Here we go. Wet. That's right. Wet. Finally, Finally. Rogue Warrior on there. Oh. Everyone, everyone can experience Wayne, Wayne the magic. Gretzky hockey. <laughs> is that a Bethesda game? Oh yeah, was the Terminator was the the '90s Terminator yeah. game they made? Future Shock, Future right? Future Shock, yeah, yeah. A proto Fallout Three, if you will, a post-apocalyptic yeah. first-person shooter. Sure, <laughs> that sure. was. Why not? Um, so that happened. They they put that stuff out officially this morning, uh, late yesterday. Also, Jeff Grubb at VentureBeat reported that there's going to be some kind of messaging going out from Microsoft and Bethesda tomorrow to answer questions about this merger. I don't. Uh, like, what is there? there to very, yeah, I don't know. It was, this was this is fairly. The information about this is fairly vague. It sounded like a live stream, a video presentation is the is the wording that he used yeah. in the story. There will be a video presentation on Thursday, March eleventh, to start answering questions about what all this means. So, 
I, it means yeah, I don't, I don't the know, maybe, games maybe. will come to Game Pass, and then right, some of right. them will come to other platforms, but most of them probably shouldn't. Like, yeah, I, I, maybe they're just sensitive because I think uh, like the reaction to the acquisition has been like I think that question of like exclusivity has dogged them a lot in a way that I just kind of look at as like, yeah, they should do that. Like, what? Like, yeah, put Deathloop out on PlayStation or whatever, but like, come on, uh, they bought them. It, it's still coming to PC. Which I don't. That seems like the. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's yeah. Weird. Uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe they threw this blog post together by Phil Spencer in reaction to the story getting reported. <laughs> maybe that. Maybe those are the questions they would oh, have answered yeah, tomorrow. Sure. Uh, is the, yeah. is the stuff he is the stuff he wrote in this post this morning. Maybe they're still going to do it. Who knows? Um, we will see. They have not announced anything as of yet. But did they do an E three thing last year? Um. Because- I don't yeah, I can't think remember. so. I don't they think so. No, off. they can't. In fact, I think they were one of the first ones to come out and say, hey, we are not doing anything in that time frame, right? So I wonder if it's just an opportunity right. to get out as well to, you know, say this is what we're working on. This is what coming was going to Yeah, maybe, maybe, some, maybe some more clarity on timelines for some stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It doesn't seem like they would go focus, like that. they would do this and then focus on games. Like no, no new Probably presentation not. on software, but like... That's why it's weird yeah. to like the idea of a video presentation. Like, are they just going to like do a split screen with Bill Spencer and whoever? I, I guess like, you know, I feel like my questions about that stuff are all like just weird internal stuff about like, does Bethesda still control all of those studios or do those studios just get split up and put into the Microsoft system? Um, Cause they own a lot of other teams, you know, it's not just uh, BGS. Yeah, I mean, it's like yeah, he, he, others. he lists, he lists in this blog post. It's, it's BGS, it's software. Zenimax Online Studios, which is what Elder Scrolls Online, I guess. Right. Yeah. Um, Arcane Machine Games, Tango Gameworks, Alpha Dog, and Roundhouse Studios. Yeah. So, um, like, does Machine Games still report in through some kind of weird arm of Bethesda, or do they just mm-hmm. say, "Oh, now you're a you're another Microsoft studio"? I mean, it says in this blog like post, that. it's 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 vitally important that Bethesda continues to make games the way it always has. We look forward to empowering Bethesda's creative teams to reach even more players around. The- but of course, you say that, like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, that is the messaging also, that that doesn't mean that there aren't like suddenly Microsoft producers also involved in those games. Who knows? Yeah, I wonder. Right. This is like, what's the most efficient way for that team to operate is probably the actual answer. Right. And, and right. maybe short term, that's like, hey, we're not going to touch anything. But, you yeah. know, hey, maybe eventually we don't need this full separate organization. Yeah. And I have to imagine, I you know, I would have to imagine there's some redundancy there. Right. I mean, they don't really need a publishing arm for Bethesda anymore because Microsoft can certainly handle that. Maybe they absorb all those people. Maybe they, they have the openings or, or whatever. But. uh yeah, we will see. Yeah. Um, They're all back together yeah. again. Obsidian. Bethesda, <laughs> That's right. That's right. Black Isle. Uh, Fargo's crowd. Yeah. They're um, all there. Yeah. In, in Exile. Yeah. Like that in whole Exile, thing. Yeah. That Weird. whole thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool. Yeah. All those people who made all the new RPGs. Fallout. Who's, Who's making love? the next yeah, right. Vegas? <laughs> right. Right. Um, so strange. So strange. I mean,. Obsidian like just went and announced their big sprawling new first person fantasy RPG, you know, <laughs> like right before all this happened. So like, eh, you know, some overlap there, but who knows? Yeah, with the amount of time between Elder Scrolls games, like that still works, right? Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. for sure. Yes, absolutely. Um, also, I, I don't know. I just threw this in here for shits and giggles. Microsoft's Doom 3 VR edition has been announced for PlayStation VR. Okay. So wait, <laughs> coming at the end of the month, Doom Three on the PS4. That is VR. the most id software announcement of all time. They totally. love, yeah. It's like Doom there's 3, like a and they love a, VR. A ghost of John Carmack suddenly reappeared in the studio to make all that happen somehow. Just yeah, weird. Yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. This is probably something that was in motion bef- way before the yeah. Bethesda acquisition actually happened. So they got to make still, good on all that stuff. Still, the best touch screens in video games. They're pretty good. <laughs> They're not bad. Cool you know, the computer interfaces in that game are one of the better things about that game. I would say. I uh, I did this. I occasionally think about going back and trying to play Doom Three again because I just it, I, I had such a sour time with that game when it came out that even after you modded it to have the flashlight on the gun or like all that stuff was just like it's Doom Three is still kind of bad, right? 
I kind of want to try this VR version because I like Doom 3 and mostly because of the atmosphere, you know, which is the thing that VR is good at. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how Some weird must it... that game feel post like Eternal and 2016? Mm-hmm. I've, right. I don't think I've played it since those games. Right. I, 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 yeah. I fired it up here and there to mess around with like console stuff and just, you know, mod type things and like, ah, you know, parts of it maybe don't hold up super well. 